Hey, thanks for joining me everybody. This is Christine and we're going to get started with another reformer workout. And you don't need anything else, just the reformer. So let's go ahead and get started. Put yourself on um, a light spring tension. I've only got half a spring because I just want to do some mobility first before we get started with footwork and uh, feet and straps. So sit yourself on a reformer. If you have one that's close to the floor, um, what you could do is sit pretzel style like this, or you could even sit crisscross, cross-legged in front. Um, or if you're more comfortable with your feet being over the side, that is fine as well. Square yourself, making sure both sit bones, no matter what position you're in, what, what your thighs are doing, both sit bones are down. Hand is a little bit more in front of the shoulder, not back and not right to the side, it's a little more in front. Take an inhale, and then exhale, press the carriage away as you side bend into your armpit. <laughs> and then come back up. So not going crazy, we're just starting to move and breathe. Exhaling here, and then inhaling, lifting up. Trying to feel the spine do the movement, not necessarily from the shoulder. Move the spine, and then coming up. Let's move a little bit more. Side bend over here, exhaling. Inhale, rotate, face the springs a little bit. Exhale, pull back forward, and inhale, lift. Breathe, inhale. Make sure this opposite hip stays down. Exhale, side bend over. And twist. And then back up. Ooh, lovely. One more. Opposite hip stays down. Rotate, twist. And then come back. And then lift back up. Oh. Stay in here. Push away a little bit. Now we're going to rotate up straight. So twist to the foot bar. Oh my goodness. And then twist back. I don't think I slept very well last night. Twist to the foot bar. I feel like I need to crack my back. And then back up. Can't wait for a short spine. Twist to the foot bar. Rotate towards. Ow. And then come back one more time. Small rotation, keeping away from the stopper. Ooh, and then come back up. Let's flip sides. Come to the other side now. Again, making sure both sit bones are down as much as you can. This one obviously doesn't get down, but as much as you can, try to anchor yourself down. Pinky finger more through that hand at the side of the hand, and then lift up and over on the exhale. And then inhale, lifting. And then exhale over, making sure that armpit drops down to the hip. Oh my goodness. Lifting on the inhale, exhale over. And inhale up. Okay, I think it was right here we twisted. Twisting over, side bending over, now rotate. Look down towards your springs. Frame your face, frame your head with that arm, and lifting them nice and tall. Mobilizing through that mid back. Over and twist. Look to the springs. Don't move that, those shoulders too much. We're moving on the bottom one just as is necessary. But you're not over mobilizing anything except the spine. But just doing it nice and gentle. Alrighty then, I think that was it. Let's push away just a little bit. Anchor both sit bones and twist towards the foot bar. Reaching over and then come back. <sighs> sit up nice and tall. Feel that crown of the head up nice and long. Last one. And a twist. And then come back up. Very guided, you guys. Okay, come back. Let's sit up for ourselves for footwork. Heavy spring tension. Heavy as you want to be. So I'm on three reds. Line yourself down. Flip the headrest up if you'd like it up. Watching where your point is and your bun is. On bound the back of that head. I'm going to lift up a little bit today. Just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Flexed ankles. Let's go into a little Pilates V. So not quite a first position. So you're not too wide out. Little Pilates V, but I want you to flex those feet. So really pull those toes back. So I'm more up on tops of my heels. And here we go. Pressing out neutral spine. Inhale, breathe. Inhale. So in stop Pilates, a more advanced version of um, footwork is inhaling on the press out. Um, or like inhaling and then exhaling. So do one complete repetition instead of exhaling and inhaling coming in. You can breathe however you want to breathe. It does change the exercise a little bit of how it feels. Pushing out, squeezing, coming in, pulling those kneecaps up, pressing out. 
and then coming in this time, stay out here and hold it here, stay here, and now just small bend in the knees, small bend, press away, uh, your feet still flexed, press away, and bend, neutral spine, push. And bend, and a push. Ooh, feel those shins, right? Sides of those calves, I really feel mine on fire. And small bend, push away, let's do one more. And then press away, bend and come all the way in. Swivel, toes, to first position still, little Pilates V. Heels are super high, snug those um, toes a little bit closer towards each other, make sure all five toes of each foot are on the foot bar, and press out. Hug those heels together, come on in, almost like you're on the head of a pin. Push out and pull it in. So anytime when you're doing an exercise, always obviously focus on what you're doing right, but always think about the initiation and the very end of an exercise. What's in the middle is all good, but it's the start and it's the finish that you have to really focus on. So first five or 10% of an exercise and the last five and 10%. That's where people tend to lose it. How you initiate an exercise is extremely important. How you come out of an exercise is extremely important. So, and then everything else is just the gravy in the middle coming in, or should we say icing, icing in the middle, cream in the middle, puff cream, yes. Let's say it's cream, it's a cake and it's cream filled, oh my goodness. So the initiation is the icing, and let's say the middle is the cream, and the ending is the chocolate sauce, yeah. Pressing out, oh I'm hungry, coming in. Kneecaps are pulling up, pressing out, keeping those heels really high. Again, making sure you're feeling all 10 toes. And then in last one, hold this one out here, press out and hold it. Now in this position, with the carriage completely loaded, what I want you to do is change your leg position. So come to parallel, that is hard to do when the springs are out. Parallel position, feel it in your body, soften those knees, do a small bend. We're about hip distance apart, push away. Small bend, press away, and bend. Press away, and bend, press away, Tighten those kneecaps and push and bend. Feel this from the hips as well. So you close the hip, then you open the hip and you close the hip and you open it. One more. And press away, keep the heels high, come all the way and almost touch the stopper, but do not push out three inches, come down three inches. Push out three, come down three, small and slow. Down three, push three, down three. Oh, hello quadriceps and down three. Oh yeah, it's great, it's great. Don't let the knees flare. Look down if you need to, see where your thigh position is. Make sure that it's directly in line with your hips. Don't let the thighs flare out to the sides. Out three, down three, and don't let them come and touch together. Oh my goodness, out three, down three, out three. Oh, I hope you're burning like I am. Neutral spine, last two, and last one. Okay, now we're gonna hold about halfway out. About halfway out, what I want you to do is lower and lift the heels, don't move the carriage. Push the heels under, lift the heels up. Push the heels under, lift the heels up, don't move. Keep it steady. Lift, lower, find a spot on your ceiling and make sure you're not moving because you're not moving on the ceiling because it's hard to do, right? It's hard to feel when the carriage is moving and when it's not sometimes. You can barely move and you can't tell it's moving at all. Ooh, crack my ankle, lift, and a lift. Oh, thigh burn. Ooh, lift one more time, lower and a lift. Push the carriage all the way out. Lower those heels under, give your calf a little bit of a stretch here, calf stretch here. Lift the heels back up and bend and come all the way in. Let's swing up and do a light tension now. Oh yeah, coming up to sitting, do a light tension. I'm gonna go on a half a spring. You could go on either a, a one, a full tension one spring or half a spring or three quarters. It's gonna be a little bit more interesting work for footwork. Coming down, let's go into a second position. Woohoo! Notice how much the carriage is gonna move. It's gonna move very easily. Second position. Try not to grab on with the toes, okay? So I don't want you to prehensile the feet over the foot bar. Pulling yourself into that neutral spine, putting yourself in the neutral spine, keeping the carriage pulled into the stopper. So the lighter the tension, the harder that is. Press the thighs away. Notice it's not hard at all. It's about the control. Pulling it in and push away and pulling it in. Again, try not to grip with those toes, right? Resist doing that so you can make it happen from your thighs. 
Oh, this is a good inner thigh and hamstring work. Lovely. Pushing away and pulling it in. We're giving our quadriceps a break and trying to feel the backs of the thighs. Keeping that neutral. Don't go crazy. Be very careful on how you push it out. Ooh, also be very careful, careful on coming to the stopper. Don't clank in like I'm doing. Try to come in and just kiss the stopper and push it away. And kiss the stopper. Interesting feeling. Think pelvic floor, inner thigh, lifting up underneath the rib cage. Don't flare those ribs. Everything is in control. One more time. Pushing away. And now coming in. Of course, I got to make it a little bit harder. So we're going to lift one leg up to tabletop. Ooh, try not to shift too much. Here we go. Press away. Careful. Pull in for four. And push. Pull in. So that thigh should be out to the side a little bit because we're in second. One more. Don't bring it in right in um, over the body. Come in, drop that foot. Oh, stopper, where are you? Lifting up the other foot, and here we go. Pushing away slow, come on in. Yeah, interesting, right? And in. Oh, feels great. One more. And then come on in. Very good, you guys. Okay, now come to a um, hip distance apart. Flex those feet. So you cannot pull yourself it in. Push away, be very careful. Pull in. Do not put your heels on top of your foot bar. Keep them, you know, in the front so you can't grab with anything. Imagine that you have sticky feet, sticky heels, like you're a frog, right? Ah, pulling it in. Trying to feel those hamstrings to really pull yourself into that stopper as much as you can. Pull, 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 pull. Press away and pull in. Ooh, this is good. Push away and pull in one more time. Pressing away and pulling in. Yay. Oh, okay, that was tiring. Coming up, set yourself up for feet and straps. I'm going to be on two red. All right, here we go. Wow, my thighs are tired. Let's give them a stretch. Swiveling yourself down. Grab your ropes. Plant your feet in the ropes. Hope I'm not twisted at all. No, I'm not. Okay. Feet are in the ropes. You are comfortable. Let's come into an imprint the entire time. So, so control through the rib cage. Come into that imprinted spine. Super um, tight quadriceps, soften those knees just a little bit. Here we go, lift and lower first. Keep the knees soft so you resist pushing into the backs of the knees, you're in an imprint. And pulling down, inhaling up, and then exhaling down. So if you've been doing Pilates for a while, um, or you know, just not even just like, time-wise, but just many sessions. What I want you to start to think about your neutral is that it comes from your rib cage, not from your pelvis. So don't think of your, I'm not, not neutral, imprint. Don't think of your imprint as a tucked tailbone. That's not what we're doing. Think of your imprint as more abdominal from the obliques and from your mid-back rather than the tucked tailbone. Last one, lifting up, oh, this feels good. And then coming down, let's do, keep your imprint spine if you bend and stretch, straighten, bend and straightens. When you bend in, you're gonna really come in ni ni into a nice tight hip flexion. Push away and bend in. Nice tight hip flexion, press away. Not lifting the tailbone up too much, but if it goes into a slight tuck, it's okay, it's okay. Feel this nice stretch in the spine. Press away and in the hips. Bending in, and then press away, let's do one more. And bend in, stretch, and then press away, leg circles, double leg circles. You're still in imprint spine, and you still have a soft knee. And I just cracked both my hips. <laughs> I hope yours did too. Hinging up, and control, feel those inner thighs. This is four, I do believe, and let's change direction. So stopping it here before you come up and then pull down. So when you're doing legs in circles, 
leg circles. When you swing out to the side, try to stop that carriage as you pull the legs together overhead. Same thing when you reverse direction. So I want you to come all the way to the side first, then pull the legs together without almost not moving the carriage. Let's do one more, just so you can really feel that. Open, stop the carriage from moving, pull them together, and then pull down. Okay, now we're gonna combine um, lift and lower to leg to the side. So first, let's come down a little bit lower, turn out, and I want you to stay really low with the feet and just open the legs, don't plane change, so just keep them right there and then close them together. So you're nice and low, open, inhaling, and then exhaling, and we still didn't change the spine, so you're still in an imprint. Inhale, and then exhale, oh, one more. So this is what we're gonna combine lift and lower with. Inhale, and then exhale. Here's how we're gonna do it. One leg is gonna go up, one leg is gonna go to the side. Be very careful at first. Control through the core, and then pull together. You might not be able to go that far. Open to the side, and feel which one is the stopper. Like, what's, which one is limiting you? Is it the one going up to the ceiling, or is it the one going out to the side? Oh my goodness. And then close, and one side's harder. Woohoo! Still externally rotate a little bit with those legs and then close them together oh my gosh this is cool <laughs> one lift one open to the side oh pull them together Woo. inhaling here exhaling them together feel that core try to stabilize the pelvis put your hands on your hips and feel the no movement you're not rocking side to side pull them together let's do three more because i think we started one side and then pull them together, two more, one more each way. Hinging up and out to the side. And then pull them together in the last one. Ooh. And then we do our lovely short spine. Headrest goes down, extremely important, never come up onto that neck. Okay, here we go. Chest is open, parallel legs, inhale, lift the legs up, hinging to 90, come over a little bit more, then push into those springs to roll that spine up. Breathing here, bend the knees into your face, whoa, we're turning the carriage into the stopper, rolling down, keeping the legs together, and then pressing weight. Oh, it feels so good. Inhale. Inhale. Push away. And up. Oh, stretch. Oh, does that feel lovely? And bend. And then rolling down. I'm going to change this last one. We're going to stay up there for a bit. Pressing away. Hinge up to the ceiling. Stretch, lift up and over. Staying here on this one. Pull the knees into the face and then stretch it back up. Controlling your, your movement, press them back up. Keep in tension those straps the whole time. Never let those ropes go slack. And bend in. Subtly, can you feel your butt? <laughs> it's not like a lot of work, but it's there, right? It's there. One more and bend in, and press away. I lied, do one more, hold this one here, and then rolling down, oh, push into that spine, rolling all the way down, and then press away. Oh, that feels great, bend the knees in. Take the hands and straps, and then scooch away from the shoulder rest a little bit so you have mobility through those shoulders. Lift the headrest up if you want to, I'm gonna keep mine down, I'm fine. Pull the legs up, pull the arms down to the hips and hold it here, stretch the legs up to the ceiling. Hold it here and open, close the legs. Open and close one, inhale. Hold it here, scissor, scissor and scissor. Controlled. Use that core, use the core two, and one. Both legs up, bend both knees, bend your elbows, and stretch, and bend. Can you feel the pinky 
finger side of your hand into your armpits. That connection is extremely important for the mid-back series. Pressing it down, let's do one more. And then pressing it down, open to the side. Stop it right there, exhale, close. Pull the shoulder blades down towards your back pockets and close. Inhale. And close, let's do one more. And then close, keep your hands here, lift the head and chest up. Stay here, bend and stretch your elbows, one. Two. Chest is up, three. Oh, I'm hot. Four, five. Let's add legs. Here we go. Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch. One. Inhale. Switch. Two. Three. Four. I got a little like, quick on that one. Five. Six. Goodness gracious. Seven. Chest up higher. And eight, bend both knees in, stay here. Keep that chest up as high as you can. Pulse here, lift up higher. One, push into those springs. Two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, six, seven, keep going. Eight, nine, relax the neck. Push into those hands. 11, 12, lift those shoulder blades up. 13, go higher. 14, we're going to 16. 15 and 16, hold, lift up higher, hold, belly is in deeper, lift, and then bend, and then roll the spine down. Oh my goodness, okay, give me a fan, please. Let's come up to sitting. Whew. All right, I'm warm. I hope you're warm too. Let's flip over the other direction now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm out of the way. What I'm gonna do, just because I know how this feels for me on my, on my spine, I'm going to have my legs out to the sides. Go to one spring, one red, one um, you know, middle tension spring. We're going to do a little extension. My legs are going to be outside my shoulder rest. Walk big your knees back to your shoulder rest, and then you're going to lie on your stomach with your hands on your platform. If you can, if your reformer makes this work this way, you can bring your legs in between your shoulder rests, but play with that. Please don't cross the feet. Let's not do that. I would rather have them wide than crossed. So, laterally rotate the legs just a little bit. I'm scooching myself back here. Pull that rib cage up and together and place your hands on your platform in front of this. It could be the foot bar, if your foot bar is down. Whatever you can press against to like this. We're gonna do some extension. Pulling the belly in. Glutes and hamstrings are active. Quadriceps are active. Push the carriage away. And then you're just gonna nice, easy swan up. Arching, pulling the belly in, dropping the shoulders down that back, and then exhale, pushing away. I like to inhale an extension. And again, this move doesn't have from, happen from the shoulders. It's not here. You're really trying to move the back, move the spine. This is the last one here. Coming down, bend your elbows, push up. One, and bend. Can you feel the shoulder blades move on the back without elevating them? Keep them in place and even a little bit depress them, which means bringing them down to the glutes. Bend and push away. Stay here, go right to one arm, reach the other arm out back. Bend one, press. Oh, this is great, two, and <laughs> press. Belly is in three, switching arms. Four, three, other arm is back, bend, one. Elbow to the side, feel that shoulder blade, two. Feel the lat, and a three, crack the elbow, stay right there. Put the other hand back. What I want you to do now is walk both hands over to one side. They're next to each other, they're not on top of each other. Inhale as you arch up, over to one side, and just stretching here, and then exhaling, pressing away. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, pushing away. Oh my gosh, one more. And then exhale, pressing away. Let's change to the other side. Oh, it feels good. Inhale, lifting up. You know what? My back is feeling better. Inhale. 
It has not cracked yet though, but it feels better. One more. And then press away, come back both hands. Let's do some overhead presses again. Here we go, bend in for four. Press and three, press and two, and press and one more. And push away and then come all the way in. Oh goodness, come back up. Let's do and go into a little child's pose stretch here. Just in your back, sit so yourself back to your heels of your feet. Oh, feels good. Rounding your spine here, just stretching out that back, relaxing those shoulders. Take some deep breaths. And then relax, come on up. Okay, for the next little bit, you're gonna be on your hands and knees. Come down to a light spring tension. So what's gonna happen is, I love this um, next few exercises because it challenges your balance on your reformer, it challenges your brain, and it challenges your control of your body. So if you've seen my videos before, you, I might have made mention how much I love the control, the eccentric control of an exercise, and this is all about eccentric control. So have your straps handy, we're gonna go from one to the other. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down hands and knees, hands on the, on the carriage and the t my thumbs are tucked underneath my, my um, handles on my reformer shoulder rest. If you have that option, that'd be great. Try not to do this. I think it's a little bit too much on the, on the wrist. You can come down a little bit lower like this. Grab a strap. I'm gonna take my hand through and come up to the rope. And on a half a spring, or even a quarter spring, you can go into quarter spring even, that's gonna make the carriage move very, very easily. Hip distance apart, legs, make sure your knees are right underneath your hips. I'm trying to feel them here. Reach to the arm in front, arms pulling straps one at a time. Here we go. Exhaling as you lift, and it's about the controlling here, coming down. Control, control, control. Control. Nice work. Try not to rotate the body. Don't move that carriage from underneath you, right? One more. That's about six, right? Coming down, switching hands. Ooh, that felt great. Back of the shoulder, back of the arm. Fantastic work because those muscles in our bodies get just not used very often at all. Grab up onto your ropes a little bit higher, arms out to the sides a little bit more. I forgot to say, thumb is on top, pinky fingers going up to the ceiling. Here we go, belly's in. Exhaling, inhaling. Harder on the side for me. Slow, slow, slow with that control. Four, five, one more time, and a six, nice. Coming down, good, good, good. Put that shoulder, that strap down. Come back to the same, uh, the other side, the first side. Put your foot in strap. Swing that leg around. Again, your hands are in the same position. Whew, leg is out to the side a little bit. Whew. Okay, really challenge yourself here by not veering over to the side where that has the foot and strap. Legs out to the side and here we go. Exhale for six. Neutral spine, don't bend the back. Two, feeling that butt. Feeling the core. Three. And four. Ooh. Five. Can you challenge yourself a little bit more by leaning over to that strap leg? And six. And lower it down. Nice work. Take that foot out. Let's go to the other side. Carefully bringing yourself back in with control from that carriage, right? <laughs> Put the other foot in strap. Swing it around. Walk yourself back. Make sure you're even. Leg goes out to the side. I'm trying not to lean over to my left too much. This is my left foot, so I'm trying to lean to, lean to the left. Okay, or let, let, let myself pull, pull drag to the left. Really square yourself. Here we go, five, six. So it's out to the side a little bit more. It's not going straight back. It's going straight back, but it's more to the side. Two. Three. 
four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and five. Nice work. And pull up six. And down. Oh my gosh. Put that strap down. Ooh. Let's stay right here on a light tension. Scoot yourself towards your shoulder rest and come to your rails. I'm sweating. <laughs> come to those rails. Keep your hands right underneath your shoulders. Actually, no. Take your hands and come a little more in front and then pull yourself away from your um, stopper and then place those hands under those shoulders that way. We're gonna cat here. Try not to push through those knees. Exhale and cat. Inhale and release into neutral. Carriage moves very slightly and you are rolling from that back doing a cat. Inhale. Exhale. Just a cat. Not reverse knee stretches. Soften those elbows. Exhale. Inhale. Armpits are active. Exhale. My armpits are on fire. Inhale. Couple more. Inhale. One more. And release. Nice work. Sit yourself back. Stretch those arms out. Oh, that felt great. Okay. If you have the option to come down to even yet a quarter spring, let's do that. So come to a really, really light spring tension. If you are on a half, that is okay. You will just have a smaller movement. Okay, knees against the shoulder rest again. Pull yourself away from the spring, against the stopper. That's gonna be fairly easy now if you've lightened that spring tension. And then I want you to take one hand and put on the small of your back. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Reach it back to the stopper, and then exhale, pull a little more forward. Inhale. Back to the stopper, exhale. There's my stopper. This is four, I think. And pull, switch. Away from that stopper, make sure the hand's right underneath that shoulder. Hand to the small of the back, and pull one. Don't push to those knees. Two. three, and last one, four. Goodness gracious. And then come back. Okay, nice work. Good core work. Nice and simple, right? Simple. Simple and subtle. I love simple and subtle. Okay, let's give ourselves a little stretch. Come on off to one side of the carriage. Take your foot bar up. Load up to a heavier spring tension. If you are on the carriage that matters, what I always do is load up the spring tension on the side that I am on, um, just because it makes it feel a little bit different, um, more even through the, through the spring tension. You can take your knee, walk it back so it's almost on that shoulder rest. It's right in front of it. Foot is more in front. And bend, and just stretch into that hip flexor. Even if you're on the floor with a floor model, you can do this. And stretching here. Coming up, lifting up nice and tall, pressing back. Trying to get your balance here. See if you can let go and just hold it. And just balance here, pushing back a little bit more, opening up the hip, arching into the low back just a little bit, and then pull it back in. Do one more. Pushing it back. I'm pushing away from my standing leg just a little bit. And coming in. Let's go to the other side. So now I'm switching springs because I'm going to the other side. So I'm loading up that spring. Knee is back to that shoulder rest. Close as that shoulder rest that you can get is going to really open up that hip and make that quadricep and the hip flexor stretch quite a bit more. Ooh, push them back. And just stretching it to the front of the head. Oh, this feels so good. See if you can balance for a few. It's not supposed to be really hard to push that carriage back. Let's not make it too hard. Pushing back. Mm -hmm. Let's do one more. And pressing back. Stretch. Good. And then come on in. Oh. Okay, stay in here. I want to do a little rotation. 
one spring, come off to the side of your so uh, come off to the side of your reformer. If you are on a floor model, come down to your knees. That's fine. Gonna take a hand, put on that front shoulder rest. Take your inside hand, top, underneath hand goes underneath and to close the shoulder rest. Soften those knees, or if you're on your knees, you're, you're fine. Make sure your feet are right underneath your hips, and you're just gonna twist and push the reformer away just a little bit, come back. Notice how small of a move it is, right? It's a very small move, pushing underneath, just twisting that spine, coming back up. Oh gosh, this feels great. And pushing under, oh, and twisting. If you are good, if you can do this, try to get that shoulder all the way down on your carriage. I cannot. And that's okay, that's just what I have to work with. One more. Pushing away and rotating, twisting, and then coming back up. Okay, let's change sides now. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, I do both sides. You have to twist both ways. Inside hand is on the top, underneath hand, underneath hand goes underneath. Yes, yes, of course. The hand oh, farthest away from the shoulder rest goes underneath. Okay, here we go. Twisting, soften the knees. Walk my feet back a little more. Twist. Ouch. And then come back up. I would exhale on the rotation, on the pushing, and inhale on the release. Let your breath dictate your movement. Never stop breathing. So don't just take an inhale and then hold the rest. Don't exhale and then hold it. Try to breathe through the entire movement. Let's do one more. And then come all the way up. Good, okay, have a seat. Sit up nice and tall in your reformer. Your feet are a little more in front. Drop those shoulder blades. Shoulders are open, neck is nice and long. Take an inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold over your thighs. Let your head hang, let your back hang, inhale. And then exhale, tailbone, low back, mid back, upper neck and head. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Stretch, tailbone, low back, mid back, upper neck and head. <sighs> nice work. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope your back feels great. And I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.